Good morning. Do y'all see how crazy I look? Yeah. Oh, uh, my eyes burn. Normally, I would not come up on here looking like this, but it is a maintenance vlog, so I want y'all to see the transformation because it's about to get real cute. It might be real ugly right now, but it's about to get real cute. I just woke up, if you cannot tell, which I'm pretty sure you can. It's 7.54. It's Monday, December 11th. This week is maintenance week. Hair, nails, lashes, all that cute stuff. Today we're gonna get our hair done. I have, I don't know if y'all can hear, like I probably sound real stuffy, real congested. I just got over like sickness. I'm still like in the last stages. Um, my nose is just stuffy, that's it. But it was a lot worse a couple days ago. So I'm just now kind of like getting over it. So that's why I kind of sound like, Ugh. This maintenance week is much needed. After being sick in the bed the last couple days, I haven't been to Pilates. I had to cancel all my classes for last week because I wasn't feeling good. So it's time to get back and just back to being that girl. So on the agenda today is hair and a soak off. These are my nails. I don't know if y'all have been watching my videos. Y'all know I've been struggling with keeping all my nails on. These nails are over a month old and I haven't lost a single one. And none of them are lifting, nothing. So shout out to my nail tech. I told her the issue. I told her my nails won't last it and she fixed. Period. Communication is key. Uh, my nail appointment is tomorrow morning so I have to get them soaked off right after my hair appointment. My hair appointment is at 11 and my hair is in this bonnet. It's not washed. It's not blow dried. So I have to get straight to work. Um, that's why I got this energy drink. I need it today. I feel low energy. I just have not feel. But I've been in the bed the last couple days so girl it's time to get up and get out. Like so, the next time y'all see me, I will be getting this wig slayed. It is a wig promo. It is another straight black wig. I think this is like the fourth one in a row almost. I did a brown one and then this is like the fourth one in a row. It's really not my choice, y'all. Why would I ever turn down a free wig plus some money to get paid for putting a wig on? Just because it's the same one I just did. If all they want to see me in straight black wigs, all I'm going to put in is straight black wigs. I'm going to meet y'all at my hair appointment. Let's go ahead and get cute. I went with that no edges look and I kind of like it like I have a really big head and I was I told her I'm like I want to try no edges but I know this forehead is like booming so I don't know too much about that she said she thinks it'll look fine and I think it looks really good so of course I do have a forehead but you know what whatever but it is currently 1 26 in the afternoon i'm about to get chipotle because i'm starving i haven't eaten nothing all day this is the only thing that's in my stomach no water no food a celsius so i need to get water i need to get a chipotle bowl and i'll be happy my mood will be uplifted i'm kind of like irritated just because i'm hungry once i eat we'll be good our spirits will be up our mood will be lifted and then after that i need to get these nails soaked off so let's go ahead and go on chipotle and get some eats because your girl is starving okay i'm back y'all i'm sorry about this angle i'm waiting on my car tripod to come in but i came back to the car to eat my food because that chipotle is so tiny but I got my food and I'm about to drink this water because your girl's thirsty. I really wish I had a better hangle for y'all, but I don't. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. This is my bowl. It's white rice, 
no beans because they ain't have none. Half chicken, half steak, extra sour cream, queso, extra cheese, lettuce. Mmm! Let me get my hair out my way. Oh yeah, this is fine. I'm ready to take a nap. <laughs> my body is still rejuvenating from being sick, so I just feel like, uh. But I gotta go get these nails soaked off real quick because my appointment is tomorrow. I'm really not trying to do that, but I'm just eating my food. I'm forgetting all about y'all. That shit was that good. Mm. This water is so cold, too. Oh my god, y'all. I just need to eat something. Like, ooh. This bowl is probably gonna be demolished in like five minutes. I really ain't trying to be out too long because the more I be out, the more I spend money. Yeah, we ain't trying to do all that. I ain't really got nothing to talk to y'all about. I've been sick. That's all that's been going on. And now it's time to get back right. I really like my hair, y'all. It looks so natural. No edges. Like, none at all. Like, not even on the sides. And I feel like this no lash look is eating. I'm about to get my lashes done, but still. Y'all probably like, damn, girl, you going in. I am, y'all. I'm so hungry. I'm about to eat, and then I'll probably meet y'all once we get my nails soaked off uh, at the nail shop. I'm going to just go to anyone because I really don't care. I'm trying to hurry up and get this over with. Go home. Hey y'all, I came to Target real quick because it was right across the street because I'm making at home lemon drops for this video I'm making. So I picked up these glasses. These are only $15 for a four pack. I'm about to go to the alcohol section to get the tequila, but I don't want a whole bottle. For, Cause I'm probably, well I might get a whole bottle cause I'll probably keep making them cause I love a lemon drop. I don't think they have shooters either, the little mini ones. They don't have sugar, so I'm gonna have to get an actual bottle. I just don't know what kind I want for my lemon drops. The syrup, they said you're supposed to do that too with the lemonade. I'm gonna get some syrup. Oh, ain't no space, my price is big. I like Patron. I might just get Patron. Y'all, this shit right here, this is my shit. I think I'm gonna just get this bottle of Patron. And I got a, uh, a kit at home to make, like a cocktail maker. I was gonna do wine, but y'all know I do not f with wine. Y'all tried to get me to drink wine, and I've tried four different kinds, all gross. That's all I came up in here to pick. That's all I came in here to pick up. I'm about to go ahead and go to the nail shop for real this time. I'm back home, the nails is off. Looking crazy, but we are gonna handle that tomorrow. Don't even worry about it. But y'all, I am really feeling this hair. Like, first of all, it's not even just like the no edge look. The hair is given. This is so silky and so smooth. Y'all gonna get tired of me running my fingers through it, but baby, it's just that good. I'm about to go ahead. It's so hot, y'all. I'm about to change these clothes, first of all. And I'm about to edit my wig promo so I can go ahead and get that out the way and get my mun. And then I think we're going to make, we're going to make a lemon drop tonight because I'm making a lemon drop for my video on Thursday, but I've never made one at home before. So I want to do like a little trial run, really just an excuse to get a little lick at my sister. But I'll come check in with y'all probably once I'm done with my video. It shouldn't take too long. Wig promos really take like 15 to 20 minutes max to edit because I'm just cutting up the clips and me get my hair done. 3.50 in the afternoon. So... Once I am done with everything, all settled in and stuff like that, I'm gonna come back and check in. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get this edited and done. If you do YouTube and you watching this and you got unedited footage, get to it. This is Bartender Kaya. I'm gonna teach you guys how to make a lemon drop today. I don't have lemons because my mama used all the lemons. So I can't do the rim with the sugar, so we just gonna make the, the drink. But I'm gonna get lemons for when I make my drink for her. So, I'm gonna put some ice in my cocktail shaker so we can have a cold, lemon drop i got my ice and for my liquor i'm using patron you can use any type of tequila i don't know how much uh how much lemonade i'm supposed to put so we're just gonna eyeball it but you're supposed to use this for the simple syrup i ain't gonna put that much liquor y'all i ain't trying to get drunk this is trader joe's lemonade i'm gonna get the uh simply lemonade because i don't really like this one. Oh my goodness oh come on don't make me mad there we go and pour a shot. We only do one shot, y'all. Yeah. Shot of Patron. Close your cocktail shaker. Dang, that got cold. I got this from Amazon. I'm gonna link it in my storefront. Pop the lid open. Look at that, y'all. 
see what it tastes like. I get the vision. Maybe because they ain't got no sugar around the room. It's still good though. I'm about to, I'm about to bust this down, y'all. That one little shot. It's a little strong though. 4.30 in the afternoon. I'm drinking a lemon drop. Cheers. Hey, y'all. I'm back. It is currently 7.05 at night. After we made that lemon drop, I went out to eat with my family. We went to get Mexican food and then I came back home and then I edited the week promo. I just finished it. I'm about to go ahead and get it sent over. Well, I might have to upload it to YouTube for an unlisted link and then send it over to the wig company for approval. But when I do like my maintenance days, I be having to like separate it. I can't do everything in one day. And I feel like it's more so because I have trust issues. And let me explain. I have some of the worst luck with hairstylists or when I go to new people, new nail techs. I have some of the worst luck. Like they like to cancel on me, ask me to come a whole nother day. And I don't just want my stuff clashing. So I have to separate it because, or people ask me, can I come a couple minutes later? Can I come here? You know what I mean? And I don't have time for that. So I just like to keep my maintenance day separated. I never, ever, ever do it back to back, especially if my birthday is approaching or something like that. Yeah, you're not gonna play with me. I'm sorry. So that's why this is gonna be a three day vlog. Today was just hair, tomorrow is nails i did get my toes done last week i couldn't hold off y'all i could not hold off my toes was looking crazy also the lemon drop it was so nasty because i was on live and lauren told me you're supposed to use vodka and not tequila so that's probably my issue i like patron like for shots and stuff keep that bottle but i'm gonna get like a little shooter a little mini bottle of vodka to make my actual lemon drop when we make it on thursday but yeah i'm about to make me another one because i'm so poor why not should I make another one? Good morning, y'all. Today is nail day. Let's go ahead and get ready for the day. <sighs> what am I gonna listen to? Tell me if you cut a word by my business. I'm not getting that right, but I put a stake on this. I got this little two. Uh, yeah. Water block. Definitely. I got a goal, holding up burner, you can get left on the team. Kentrell, you got a man up here that had all these kids. I'm like, Kentrell, you gotta stand up and show time. I see it. came home, to pass one thing again. I was criticizing my soul, I ain't help for no one. Kentrell, you got a man up here that had all these kids. It's another one. I'm sitting here doing the most girly skincare routine, listening to the most hood music. Let's actually change that. <laughs> the the more I'm starting to listen to that, the just and just think about that, it just sounds crazy. Let's listen to Rihanna. Oh, no, no. The square root of 69 is a song, right? But as y'all can see, I'm about to make my coffee. It's supposed to be like an at-home brown sugar shaking espresso dupe. Um, I don't have an espresso machine. I asked for one for Christmas, so we shall see. But I'm just using this instant coffee right here. This is my second time making this. Three tablespoons of instant coffee. And then just throw a half a cup of water right in that mason jar. Then you just shake it up. That's literally what instant coffee is. It's like grounds and water and when you shake it it turns into coffee so if you're looking for a baddie on a budget dupe if you don't have an espresso machine if you don't want to buy like the big old jars of iced coffee because those are getting pricey i think i went to the store the other day and one little jug was like seven dollars i paid seven dollars for this jar of instant coffee this is huge it's as big as my head 
And let me proud of myself because y'all know I'm quick to go to Dunkin'. Okay, so now once that's shaking up, as you can see, it's literally just like coffee. And ice. So after the ice, this right here is brown sugar syrup that I made at home. Literally, it's just brown sugar dissolved. And then milk and creamer. I tried it without the creamer the other day and it was gross. Oh, cinnamon. That's what I also put. Cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. Pour it into my S-Bucks cup. I'm not going to show you the logo because we don't support. But uh, this cup was uh, <laughs> 30 bucks. It's not getting thrown away. But I'm not buying no more cups from them no more. No more drinks from them. Starbucks is out of business when it comes to Kaya. <laughs> Fill right up to the top. Cheers. All right, y'all, I'm dressed. Like, when I tell y'all pink is my color and Kate nobody tell me otherwise, Kate nobody tell me otherwise. If this jacket is not eaten, this is a Lululemon jacket. It's a dupe, but it got, like, it came with a tag. It comes with, like, the little logo. And when I tell y'all, it's hugging the body. Today is going to be a good day. Um, I do want to go out and spend some money. So, y'all shouldn't be surprised. It's, like, 9 o'clock still. So, I'm going to just kind of pass by time with going out and shopping. So, y'all are going to come along with me. I know I said I was going to save money, but life is too short. Spend that money. I'm in like an era where it's like <clears throat> you don't have to save every penny you make. You can enjoy your money that you work hard for. You could, you know, go buy yourself something nice. You could travel. You could do this. It's okay. I got to stop feeling that guilt. So, let's go spend some money, y'all. I'm a fine ass bitch. I ain't in the house, Bow, 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 bow. Oh, so y'all know Christmas is coming up. I'm buying myself a gift. I'm gonna get a new designer perfume. Right now, I'm looking at uh, Born in Roma Coral Fantasy. I have the regular one, which is this one. But I feel like these are too similar. So maybe I might look for something else. I want to smell this, but it's empty. And y'all, they have everything locked up now. I have Miss Dior. I have a, like a mini of this one. It smells pretty decent. I'm gonna do a spray test. Get the vision. Ooh. Ooh, I really like, how much is it? The big one is 168. Jacobs, Givenchy, Prada. Oh, y'all know I was. Oh, y'all know I really like this one too. I had the mini of this one. It smelled so good. And I said that was going to be my next, my next designer perfume. I'm still a little stuffy, y'all. Not in. It does not smell the same. Oh, that's intense. Mm -mm. That don't smell the same, y'all. Saint Laurent. Oh, do they have that little silver looking chrome one? No. I smell YSL Libre before. I'm not a fan. They had a bunch of little sets. Do I want any of these? Probably not. I want to smell the pink. Oh, good girl. This one? I smelled this last time I came here. It actually smells really good. But I don't, I don't have a price on it. Oh, yes, I do. Good girl blush. 158. Oh, I don't know. I'm trying to only get one. Yeah, I don't want none of this other stuff. I'm trying to only get one. So it's between Good Girl Blush and the Gucci Floral. Or should I just get both? Should I just get both? I think I'm going to get this one and the Gucci Flora, but the one that's 133. The one in the middle. Not the smallest one, not the biggest one. So I'm going to get them to come unlock this and I'm going to get both of these as a Christmas gift to myself. I had to come back because I just thought about it. I wanted to pick up some skincare. I picked up this, The Ordinary. Yeah, this is the pink. It's like literally pink. And no, I didn't buy it because it's pink. Yeah. Yes, yeah, like I kind of bought it because it's pink. But it's a soothing and barrier support serum. So that's probably real good for my skin. 
And I also picked up this Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Serum for hyperpigmentation. Because I've had these spots on my face. Y'all probably can't see them. But I've had them on my face since I went to Putacana, which was November November 1st. And that's when I broke out. And like the spots are like still there. And they will not go away. So I'm going to just pick up these two products. Well, I'm going to pick up these two products. And that's it. But I think this is all I need. So... I'm gonna pay for this and really am I gonna go home? I don't know. Let me see. What else I got up in here? This is hair stuff. I can't use none of this anyway. And I also got a free gift too. I'm gonna show y'all when I get home. The lady gave me a little free gift for my purchase. They got that snail stuff everybody use. I'm not gonna try that. I'm scared of that. I think that's it. Let's go ahead and get out of here. For real. I got my good. So y'all pretty much seen everything I got, um, but I got a free gift probably because I spent so much money. I got this free perf. This sounds like there's nothing in here. So this is what it looks like, and then when you open it, these are so tiny. I could put these in my purse. These are actually cute AF. And then I have the sampler of the one I actually just bought. This pink one right here. Girl from growing the show, I'm tripping. I don't know y'all. Don't quote me because if I'm wrong, that's actually embarrassing. And there's another one in here. And when I tell y'all designer perfume is such a good investment. Alright y'all, I'm gonna head back home for a little bit. It's 10.30ish. My appointment's not till 12.50 as y'all know. So I'm gonna just chill at the house. I know this is supposed to be like a maintenance vlog. And y'all just going with me everywhere. So just, just enjoy the moment, okay? <laughs> it is currently 12.05. My nail appointment is in about 45 minutes. So I just came to this restaurant to come eat. I got sushi. I've been craving sushi. So that's what I'm about to eat. I'm gonna show y'all. And he's gonna get right into it. Because I'm so hungry. I haven't ate nothing all day. I don't know why I keep waiting until like midday to touch a piece of food. Oh, look how fire it looks. That looks so good. Let's get it soon. Don't say nothing about how you use these chopsticks either. This is huge. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and then I'm about to edit my TikTok while I'm doing that, sit here, eat, and then we're gonna get the meals done. y'all earlier <clears throat> it was supposed to be a hello kitty charm but she didn't have any so this is what they look like i showed y'all earlier but y'all do y'all see this i got this from the tiktok shop with my man on it <laughs> with my man on it as you can see basically it's the great gatsby lyrics i threw the party of the century the people came over no one left sober and it was all for you that's what it's saying but that one just looks so good repping my man Rapping like me out. From the TikTok shop, I don't have the exact link, so my bad. But if you're a ride wave girl, get you one of these. Um, just got my nails done. It's like six o'clock. She pushed me back to two o'clock. I don't know if I came and told her that, so that's why I'm just getting in late. But I'm so hungry. I'm about to go ahead and order me something to eat, unwind. All right, I never unboxed my new perfumes with y'all, so that's what we are about to do. I can't wait to wear these, y'all. I'm actually tired. Of you. Oh, she's beautiful. She is, yeah. The words, words cannot explain how beautiful she is. 
<laughs> it just smells like so grown woman. So I just love it. Like, yeah, y'all can't tell me this is not the cutest perfume you have ever seen. Then we got Gucci Flora. This is like a, a OG scent. I just never have gotten into it. This is a smaller bottle, but she's cute. Oop, focus, 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 focus. I feel like if I spray this over top of what I just sprayed, I'm not even going to get the full effect. Uh, I smelled it in the store. Y'all see me. Isn't it crazy how both my new perfumes are pink? Y'all know. It, it's really not for the aesthetic. They both smell really, really good. But that is so cute, y'all. I keep my perfumes in my bathroom, but now they're starting to pile up in my room. And we do not have enough space for these. So I am planning on redoing my room soon. So I'm going to get a... Uh, Hope maybe make my TV mounted, then get like a big old dresser, a white dresser, so I can put perfumes on there, get a new perfume tray. I want to do white, gold, beige. I want to do those colors, get rid of all the gray, including this bed. Nothing will go to waste though because um, my little sister's taking everything I'm not keeping. And there's literally nothing else to do tonight. Um, tomorrow we have lashes. First thing in the morning. So. I will meet you guys first thing tomorrow morning so we can get these lashes done. And we are done. She's already looking cute though. <laughs> Good night, y'all. <laughs> Good morning. It's the next day. Today is lash day. It's so crazy that lash day is the day like I'm finally getting used to my face like this. And I don't even want lashes no more. Like the natural face is eating you hoes up on your worst day. <laughs> now nah, I'm playing. Where am I? But I'm really starting to get used to my natural face without lashes. Because if you wear lash extensions, you know, once you take a break, like, you feel so ugly. Like, you don't even feel like you no more. When you go from wearing lashes every single month, like, you don't take no break. And then you finally take a break and you look at yourself, you're like, ew. Um, I'm about to go run a little errand at the grocery store. My dog has no more food. But I'm about to go ahead and run my little errand real quick. And once I get back, I'm going to come talk to y'all before I go to my lash appointment. Because I think I need to take some cash out hey y'all i just up the atm i got my cash out i'm about to get my lashes done i did also buy an energy drink because i got sleepy as hell out of nowhere and once i get back from my lash appointment y'all i'm literally going to i'm going straight to edit like i'm not playing no games and i plan on starting and finishing this video you guys are watching i'm not gonna drink the energy drink right now though because when I get my lashes done, if I drink like coffee or an energy drink or anything like that, then <clears throat> ooh, then um, my eyes get like real twitchy and like shaky and I just can't keep them still. So that's why I don't drink coffee or energy drinks or anything like that before my lash appointment. I wait till after. And I'm going to somebody new, so I don't want to give her like a bad first impression. You know what I mean? So, let's see how she does. Her work on Instagram is really good. Um, when it comes to lashes for real, my biggest thing is like retention. So, that's what I'm most like, so I'm really scared about like my lashes don't last and I'm paying you a hundred some dollars every time. You know what I mean? So yeah, I will see y'all when the lashes is done. Y'all. <sighs> You're probably like, Kaya, what's wrong? Kaya, why your lashes not done? Kaya, why are you back at home after you was just on the way to go get your lashes done? Good question. I'm about to turn at the light to get on the highway. Like, once I'm on the highway, I'm on the highway. I'm about to turn the light, and I get a text message from an unsaved number. I'm like, Lord, I already know what this about. So she texted me, and she said, Hey, Kaya, this is so, so, so. I'm running behind. Could you come at 12, 30, 11? That's the hour and 30 minutes difference. And, you know, I try not to be upset and stuff like this because, yeah, stuff happens but i think this is my biggest issue when it comes to like service providers and pushing people back appointments like i deal with this with every service provider i go to y'all seen yesterday the lady who did my nails my appointment was at 12 50 she asked me to come at two i came at two y'all i've been going to the same nail tech forever this ain't nothing against her but it's just like it gets tiring when it keeps happening to you happening to you no matter who you go to i get to my appointment at two o'clock she don't finish the girl that's in her chair until 2 30. you know what i mean and then it's just like Every time this happens with any service provider, no matter who it is, I'm not talking about nobody in specific, it's like there's no, there's no like being considerate. And what I mean by that is like, if I was to come to my appointment two hours late or an hour and 30 minutes late, you probably would have canceled me. You probably would charge me 20, 30, 40 dollars. But when I am pushed back due to you, 
it's no, oh, I'm going to take some money off for you. Um, It's no consideration there. And that's really why I'd be so irritated. But, y'all, like, literally, this happens to me all the time. This is why I tell y'all I cannot do all my appointments in one day. Because somebody will push me back. Somebody will cancel. Every time I have maintenance, this happens. Every single time. And it, it's just getting irritating. Like, it's nothing against the girl. I haven't, I've never been to her. It's nothing against her. It's just irritating when it keeps happening to you. And it's the fact I really genuinely don't even want my lashes done no more. I'm really just about to be like... Girl, like, just cancel the whole appointment. <laughs> just cancel the whole appointment. At this point, I can go without some lashes. I guess I'll talk to y'all again when and if my lashes get done. I don't know why I do this, but knife, butter knife. Not actual knife, butter knife. Then you don't have to break your pretty nails. It is 11.03. And I, I sat there, I thought about it. I just canceled my appointment because I don't know. I'm just, I'm slightly irritated. Like I know it's not that deep. It's just hour and 30 minutes, but honestly, I really did not even want my lashes done that bad anyway. Like I feel like, like I told y'all right now I look crazy, but with my hair down and stuff with the fresh install, the fresh nails, like I'm eating naturally. Like I never feel myself this hard with no lashes. So I'm really not pressed for, if y'all hear, What's going on outside? I got the door open because Queen is outside. But yeah, it's just like I'm not really tripping off that. I just I really didn't want my lashes done anyway. I didn't want to lay there for I don't know how long she takes. This is somebody completely new. But I'm about to drink this Celsius, y'all. I hate to close off this vlog like this, but there's no more maintenance, y'all. I got my toes done last week. I got my brows waxed. I got my nails done. I got my hair done. That's literally it. I don't really do any other maintenance. I really don't feel like going nowhere though today. I really just want to edit. I really want to get this video out. So I think, I, I really think I'm gonna end this video here, y'all. Sorry, y'all. This I wasn't expecting to end this vlog this early, but I have nothing else for y'all. So I hope you guys enjoyed of what I could give you, and I will see you guys in the next video.